Hello, welcome to Ed Media. Something different about today's video is that not only do I have a better voice, I now have an avatar that will be used from now on. Expect the quality of this video to be much better than my previous ones. Anyways, today, I will be continuing my teapot video series where I rank all members of each team. In this third entry of the series, I will rank all members of teammates next. This team is full of fan favorites so some members might be lower than they deserve. So let's get started. At number 7, we have Barf Bag. Barf Bag is not very good. She is just bland and there really is not much else to say about her. She has just been a boring character with not much going for her. The only time she is good is when they use the gimmick about different liquids having some sort of effect in her. And I guess it was good they gave her some depth in Teapot 10 about her not wanting to be a danger to everyone. Those were the only times she was good I guess. Other than that, she is just bland and boring and does not do much. Not much to say about her since she does not do a lot and is bland, don't really like her that much. How did you get my location? At number 6, we have Donut. This one is very controversial and an extreme hot take so I guess I should just explain myself. I have honestly always been neutral to Donut. In the FB, he was good, but in Teapot, he has not done much. In Teapot 1 through 4, he was just there and would do the challenges I guess. He was kind of annoying in Teapot 4 for me but whatever. But then, in Teapot 5 and 6, they made him dumb and he would be the butt of the joke. I don't know who thought it was a good idea to make Dona dumb but whatever. This made me dislike him a little bit. Now, in Teapot 7 through 9, he is better than he was as he seems to have an integral part of the team. He always speaks out and always says what is on his mind. He has gotten better, but I am more neutral to him. Remember, just because he is this low does not mean I dislike him. I am more neutral to him, I don't really have any strong opinions for him. Say Pin is good. Pin is good. At number 5, we have Pin. Just like Donut, just because she is this low does not mean I hate her, I actually like her. Pin is a pretty good character. She has been pretty great in the show. She peaked in the FDI, A and the FB. She had great development from being just a snobby mean leader to a more understanding and kind leader. She also had insecurity in the FB which gave her more depth and more complexity. But in Teapot, she got derailed. Her development was thrown out the window and into the garbage. Because guess what, she is now snobby and mean. Like how she was in the FDI. Why? Who made this idea? This is not a good idea considering her development she got the last two seasons. She now acts so snobby and at times rude instead of her common collective personality she had the previous season. Where did this come from? Despite me talking bad about this, this didn't actually affect my opinion on her that much. I always liked her in BFB. I still do like her. Her being rude like this can be entertaining and she is not as bad as people make her out to be. She also got great development in Teapot 9. She had to learn that she can do things on her own without Coiny and she is not dependent and can be her own player. The one thing that does bug me is the derailment. I know I said it didn't affect my opinion on her but it is kind of preventing her from going to love tier because she was such a great character before only for her development to just vanish into thin air. She is still a good character though. Speaking of Pin, at number 4, we have Koini. Some of you all might think it's wrong that I have Pin and Koini lower than they should be but it's just my opinion that I like them, but not as much as the top 3. Anyways, Koini is a pretty cool character. He acts as the team leader of teammates. People might think the leader is Pin, but no, it was always Koini. 
He was the one that would come up with the plans. That's pretty cool. He isn't the stern and serious team leader but he is the more laid back and chill team leader who can be just as silly as his teammates. He is kind of hyper but he does care for his other teammates. He has a great dynamic with his team and especially with Pin. Unlike Pin, it is actually great to see the development he got. He went from just being a hater in BFDI, to starting to learn how to carry a team in BFDIA and in BFB as well, to now being the team leader. That's pretty cool. Yeah Coiny is a great character. At number 3 we have Song. Show please. I know this is a hot take, but I love Song. I love her more than half of the team which includes some of the FDI's most popular characters. So, why do I like Saw so much? What makes her so great, better than Barf Bag? Well that's not really an achievement since Barf Bag is booty. But what makes her better than characters like Donut, Coiny and Pin? I don't know. Yeah I don't know why I love Saw more than like over half of the team but I do. Well, why do I love Saw? Well, the reason I love Saw is because she is just a nice and charming character. I like her calm and more kind personality while also panicking every once in a while. She seems to have anxiety but is still nice and calm. She is very friendly. She is so overhated though. She gets too much hate. Why is this? Well, people think the 8 gag is too annoying. To be honest, the 8 gag is not as annoying as people make it out to be. Sure. Saw could be better without the gag, but the gag is not so annoying that it makes me hate her. The gag is not as bad as the I'm grassy gag. The grassy gag is annoying I can't stand any time he just randomly says his name, it's not even funny. Saw's gag over grassy's gag every day of the week. The gag is not even annoying, I could see why, but it wouldn't make me hate her. But anyways, besides that, I just like Saw's kind demeanor while also having some anxiety and she really did not deserve to get out early. She does not deserve to have the 41st placement. She really did not deserve getting out when Barf Bag or Donut was right there. It is sad how screwed over she was, but oh well, some things are just not gonna work out and we have to accept it's gonna be like that. So hopefully in the near future we could see more of Saw and see more of her character so people could see there is so much more to her than just her gag. At number 2, we have Needle. First off, let me just say how underrated she is. Out of the Woe Bunch trio, she is the least popular. While I do see the reason why, considering the other members of this trio consists of Pin and Coin and they are massive fan favorites, she still at least deserves to get the same amount of love that they get. Needle is a great character, at least to me. She went from being just a mean person who cares a bit too much about the nickname she's been given, to such a great character who is a massive team player and extremely competitive while also remaining true to her friendship with Pin and Coin. Sure, she is the third wheel, but that doesn't mean they completely leave her out, she has her moments with them especially with Pin and Teapot 9. I really love Pin and Needle's scenes in Teapot 9. It showed that Needle cares greatly for Pin and does care for Coiny as well but knows he can't be saved because he's a zombie, so she must protect Pin. She was even sad when he was eliminated, because you know, they're friends. Aside from her friendship, she's also great on her own. She is shown to be really smart by giving great team strategies like in Teapot 5, and like mentioned earlier, she is shown to be competitive and a great team player, I really do like the competitive characters. So yeah, Needle is a great character. At number 1 we have Gaty. This character has been through such a journey. She went from being a forgotten character to a fan favorite and I'm so glad to see that people recognize that she is a great character. Anyways, let's see why Gaty is the best one on her team. She is the best because I just love her character. She is shown to be mature, especially mentally mature as she acts like a therapist to many characters. She is great at giving advice and has helped characters like Book, 
pin, and 2. I just love her mature personality, it's been mentioned in this series many times but I love the mature characters like Tree and Eggy. What makes Katie great is her friendship with 2. It's not often an object shows that one contestant is able to have a close friendship with the host and I personally thought that was a great idea. It is shown Katie truly does care for 2 as she knew what 2 would really love to see in the challenge in Teapot 6 and when she was so worried for 2 in Teapot 9. Gaty acting as a therapist and offering great advice and solving problems that certain characters have had has earned her the top spot on the list since her mature personality really makes me love her. So yeah, that's all this list has to offer. Do you disagree? Leave your list in the comments or voice your opinion on what you think about my list. Leave a like if you enjoyed and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.